In today's video, we will be showcasing which country is home to the shortest people in the world. Also, stick around to the end, and we'll reveal which emperor and one of mankind's greatest warriors you are most likely to be related to. But before we begin, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Assuming you've just done both, let's get right into the video. In the country of Indonesia, families dig up their dead loved ones every three years to spend quality time with them. They call it a Manning Festival. The deceased are mummified through an embalming process that used to involve sour vinegar and tea leaves. These days, though, families usually inject a formaldehyde solution into the corpse. Seems like even after you die, there's still no escaping family holidays. Though you can't see it happening, every minute of the day, we lose about 30,000 to 40,000 dead skin cells off the surface of our bodies. So just in the time it took you to watch this far, you've probably lost about 40,000 cells already. Wow, that's almost 1 million cells per day and about 9 pounds of skin cells every year. Nearly two people die every second, while four babies are born on Earth every second. It's estimated that around two people pass away at the same time. That means 105 people die each minute and 151,600 people die each day. Sorry, folks. Not all interesting facts are fun. 80% of oxygen is produced in the ocean. Scientists agree that there's oxygen from ocean plants in every breath we take. Most of this oxygen comes from tiny ocean plants called phytoplankton that lie near the water's surface. They convert sunlight into energy. The byproduct of this process is oxygen. The entire world's population could fit inside the city of Los Angeles. The world's total population is more than 7.5 billion. And obviously, that number sounds huge. However, it might feel a little more manageable once you learn that if every single one of those people stood shoulder to shoulder, they could all fit within the 500 square miles of the city of Los Angeles. The most typical human fits this description. According to a study developed for National Geographic, the world's most typical person is right-handed, makes less than $12,000 per year, has a mobile phone, and doesn't have a bank account. The hottest chili pepper in the world is so hot, it could kill you. The weapon's great dragon's breath chili pepper is so hot it's downright deadly. If you ate one, it could potentially cause a type of anaphylactic shock, burning your airways and closing them up. As it turns out, the chili was initially developed to be used in medical treatment as an anesthetic that can numb the skin. Dentistry is the oldest profession in the world. Dentistry goes all the way back to when humans first had teeth. Well, not quite that long. However, one study found evidence of teeth being drilled in skulls that dates from up to 9,000 years ago. The holes were likely made using a prehistoric bow drill. That makes dentistry one of the oldest recorded professions and is definitely a reason to smile. Our oceans contain almost 200,000 different viruses. The next time you feel like taking a dip in the big blue sea, you might not want to think about the fact that the seemingly pristine water is home to almost 200,000 different kinds of viruses, which means I'll be at the pool if you're looking for me. Indonesia is home to some of the shortest people in the world. Though there are short people and tall people everywhere, Indonesia has the shortest people in the world by average, according to data compiled from various global sources. And when taking both genders into account, the average adult is around 5 feet 1.8 inches. People in Bolivia don't tend to be much taller, with an average adult height of 5 feet 2.4 inches. Speaking of height, the tallest people among us live in the Netherlands, where the average adult height is 6 feet. More people visit France than any other country. It's beautiful and filled to the brim with divine wines, scrumptious cheeses, and tons of romance. So it's no surprise that more people want to visit France than any other country in the world. In 2017, the European country welcomed 86.9 million people. Spain was the second most popular destination with 81.8 .8 million visitors, followed by the United States with 76.9 million. Well, I just booked myself a trip. See you in Paris. The first person convicted of speeding was going just 8 miles per hour. According to Guinness World Records, the first person to be charged with speeding was Walter Arnold of the United Kingdom. See, on January 28, 1896, Arnold's 19th century Mercedes-Benz was seen traveling four times the speed limit. However, because the speed limit at the time was only 2 miles per hour, he was not exceeding the limit by today's standards. At the time, the officer had to ride his bicycle after him and issue the first ever recorded ticket. A new car smell is the scent of dozens of chemicals. Aside from the fact that it's lovely to be in a brand new car, few scents are as pleasant as a new car fragrance. But while the scent may be strangely satisfying, the fact is that it's pretty much just a combination of 50 plus chemicals that are released into the car decaying quickly over time. The concentrations found in a typical new car aren't dangerous, but among them are those found in nail polish, auto fuel, and petroleum. 
The world's smallest reptile was first reported in 2021. Those who think everything on the planet has already been discovered might just not be looking close enough. A tiny chameleon discovered in northern Madagascar and measuring just 28.9 millimeters is believed to be the smallest reptile on Earth. The itty-bitty chameleon was recently discovered and reported in January 2021. But there's one thing about these critters that's big for its size. The genitalia of the males measures almost 20% of its body length. That's a pretty big, well, never mind. And finally this, around one in every 200 men are direct descendants of Genghis Khan. During his lifetime between 1162 and 1227, Khan fathered countless children, and while we may never know exactly how many offspring the leader of the Mongol Empire had, scientists now believe that around one in every 200 men, or 16 million people, are direct descendants of his. Okay folks, which one of these was your favorite in today's video? Don't forget to let us know in the comments section below. See you in the next one!